Hello humans and animals alike, this is Dylas, and welcome back to Monster Sanctuary. We just arrived at Horizon Beach, but uh, we're not actually going to do too much here, as you'll see soon enough. But we're going to get acquainted with this area of Horizon Beach. Howdy and good day to you, young keeper. You look like you've been traveling all day. Why don't you stop for a moment and take rest? This little establishment you see before you is the monster farm of the Sanctuary. Never heard of it? Wouldn't be surprised. We're a bit off the beaten path, so most Stronghold folks never come around here. Yeah, uh, seems like it's not really that important if you're all the way over there. But, uh, you do you! Anyway, if you got too many monsters and you're losing track of a lot of them, this is just the place to go. That's the whole point of our farm. There's no charge, no matter how long you keep your monsters here. You don't get anything from me either, though. Just to let you know, since some folks seem to mix our farm up with the monster army. Not all keepers think very much of that monster army either, by the way. We're more like a monster daycare. They get enough space to roam around and all, don't you worry. Alright, so if you have a ton of monsters with you and uh, you're losing track of them, you could just deposit them at the farm and they could just stay there. So that's pretty nice. Oh, and uh, if you're wondering since he said monster daycare, no, this is not how you breed monster eggs and get new monster eggs like that. There's actually no breeding mechanics in this game, which I find to be a bit surprising because I would think a lot of monster taming games or any animal taming games in general would have breeding mechanics, but, uh, well, this one doesn't, so there you go. Alright, what's your business? Hey, young keeper, do you feel that monsters in areas you've already explored pose no real fight for you anymore? I could change that for you if you like. I can raise the minimum level for monsters across the sanctuary. This will increase the level of monsters in the areas that you've already explored in the past. The new minimum level will be based on your Keeper rank, and will rise automatically with your rank. You can always come back to me if you want me to undo this change, setting all monsters back to their original levels. These changes have no impact on your own monsters' levels, or the level of monsters hatched from eggs. Monsters are currently at their original levels, would you like me to- Okay, so we can talk to this girl here, and uh, she can change the minimum level of monsters that we have previously encountered. So you could do this if you want to get some more experience, uh, whether it be experience points or just experience fighting. I'm gonna keep monsters at their original level. I would, I would probably do this uh, just so it's easier to get materials and eggs if you need to. All right, here's a uh, teleporter stone. And uh, over here, it's a lot of water. Uh, some sunken treasure, get a level batch. And unfortunately, we can't get up there. So, yeah, I told you we couldn't explore this area very much. Because <laughs> we don't have the means to get over there. Okay, so let's go to the stronghold now. Are there any eggs I want to donate? All right, get two level badges there. Let's see. No, there's nothing I want to donate. Okay, we can buy some uh, wool, iron, and bronze from the... Uh, the craft department. Uh, okay, we're gonna upgrade our unique equipment. Uh, yeah. Oh, whew, I had just enough bronze for that. Uh, let's see. Eh, 
Sure. Uh, do we have, like, any other belts? I'm pretty sure the Cat Circer has one. Yeah, I'll... I'll upgrade this to a plus one. And I, I guess that's all. All right, over here, we can get some hazelnuts and corn now. Uh, how's my stock looking on those? I'll... Yeah, I'll buy some hazelnuts. Let's see, at the consumables, we can get regular antidotes. I believe this is the only place in the game where you can actually get regular antidotes. I recall my first time playing this, I didn't get any of these, so, uh... Yeah, because I hardly ever shopped here. So, I'm gonna buy some. And we can also get crystal shards. Alright, over here we can get a helmet plus three, a wizard hat plus three, and needle plus three. Um, I'll get one wizard hat and one helmet. Oh, and, uh, since we're, uh, the, uh, Keeper Lancer rank, let's go take, take a visit to our parents. Hey, how's it going? You're a Keeper Lancer already. That means you're not a beginner anymore. <laughs> you treat... Oh. Okay, I, I thought, uh... I thought they had a reward for you, but maybe that's the next rank. My bad. Okay, uh, next up, uh, I, I want to see if they say anything new, like, I guess not. Alright, now we're gonna go to, uh, Got Helm's training. Oh yeah! Uh I forgot. Uh when you're a keeper lancer, uh you can now go to the online arena. So when you're in the online arena, you can fight against pe keepers from all over the world. Alright, so, uh, for online matchmaking, your monster team needs to consist of six different monsters. So, uh, yeah, you can't have two of the same kind of monster when you're doing, uh, online matchmaking. Alright, I'm not going to show you anything, because, well, spoilers. And frankly, I'm not sure if it's even, like, a good idea to start online matchmaking as soon as you unlock it, because there are a lot of people out there who have beaten the game and gotten some really tough teams. So, yeah, I, I don't think I'd do it. Yet. Alright, so with that, it's time to go against uh, Trainer Gothel again. So, as per usual, I'll Leave a timestamp for if you want to skip this portion and move on a little with the plot. So. Alright, in the meantime, I think I'll do some setting up off screen for this. I gotta think about what kind of team I would like to have. Okay, I'm back. So, I decided I was going to have kind of a defensive and crit based team. So, I decided to hatch a new monster, Mitch Digger, the Mole Bear. 
So I've never actually used a mole bear before, so this will be pretty interesting to see how this goes. So, uh, Mitch here has Burrow, uh, which allows it to gain barrier as well as dealing damage. It has Impale, which is basically a, uh, Ice Spears version, uh, like it's a Earth Elemental version of Ice Spears. Uh, I'm gonna play a little bit with, uh, the Bleed stacks. Uh, I, I didn't do, uh, Bleed here, though. I guess I could do... Yeah, I could just give a level badge and do that. And, uh, yeah, I'm taking advantage of critical damage. So, yeah, I'm going to have these two as attackers, these two as healers and, uh, buffers. They are capable of... They're capable of using channel buffs which uh, Mitch sorely needs. His mana is low. And then we have Fuzzy and Shrubby, who are shielders and debuffers. So I think this is a pretty solid team. haven't really figured out what shield effects of monsters in the party means. Shield effects. Is it like shield-based skills or whatever? Or is it just shields are more resistant? I don't know. Uh, maybe it has to do with something like mana shielding. That's probably it. Alright, well, I'll... I'll get on with this. I believe I'm good to go. Alright, so let's do the Lancer Challenge. Oh, uh, he's got a Goblin team out first. And then he has a Spectre, Mole Bear, and Garulu. Alright, I seem to be... Uh, pretty much equal in terms of level, if a little more, so that's actually a pretty good sign for me. Okay, so we're going to want to do physical attacks first, so let's bring in Fuzzy, Moses, and Whisper. Okay, let's see. Let's start with... Sustain. And then I'm gonna do Air Cycle. Alright, apply to chill. Great. Okay, so all three of those goblins have some sort of goblin-related passive. So... Those uh, goblin passives uh, each give every goblin in the party one buff. So, since all three of them have one of those abilities, they're going to get three buffs in the same turn. Pretty dangerous. Uh, okay. I'll set up a shield. Uh, let's apply score, uh, we'll apply weakness, and then let's see if that wasn't that great. Oh man. Yeah, I definitely want to, like, use some debuffs. Let's see, who has, uh... Oh, you have a lot of magic. Let's do Ignite on you.
Let's do Leaf Slash on you. Maybe cleanse, uh... That's not the buff I wanted to cleanse, so well. Uh... Dang! Oh dear. Okay, we gotta heal up there. Let's do Ignite on you. Uh, I'll try our sickle on you, get a chill. All right. Oh my goodness, stop shielding. As well, apply a burn to you as well. I guess he's on shielding duty. I guess that's his role. Uh, I can do some shielding too. Physical AoE attack would be nice. Okay, we're we're getting there. Oh, I was actually wondering why uh, he's doing a uh, two shields at once. Uh, I just remembered, I, I was actually testing out a uh, sort of goblin team in my finished uh, file. Uh, the goblin brute actually has three combo shieldings, which is kind of insane. Let's do shield cast. We kind of need the channel now. <laughs> Let's see, everybody already has burn. Uh, I'm just doing that. And then... Okay, there we go. At least that one's down. And you won't get a buff every second. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'll make a sacrifice. Uh, you're resistant to debuffs, but I'll still apply burn. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's bring in Boo. Start with full defense. We'll do Arcane Bolt against you, and then... Claws. The infinity stacks are gonna arrive sooner than we can say Kawabunga. Uh, okay, let's do. I'll apply poison to you. Oh, you got reflect. Well, shucks. 
Uh, that makes it so uh, damage dealt, some of it uh, gets back at you. It's basically a, another kind of counterattack. Oh boy. Let's do a healing wave. We're at that point where the infinity stacks are coming up. Hail on you. All right, uh, let's bring in Mitch. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to spend your turn doing wizard. You didn't get the channel, I just realized. Nuts. Uh, okay. You got a lot of attack, so let's do Ignite. And then I'll do Burrow on you. So I could get a barrier. Okay, now comes the Garulu. All right, Garulu, I believe, can be very dangerous with the regeneration buff. Uh, okay. All right, you already have burn. Let's just apply burn to you then. I'll do Burrow again. You have multi-barrier, so... Uh-oh. Yeah... Okay, everybody has, like... Six plus rank health. Uh, I could just use a Mass Potion. Alright. Okay, cool. That did quite a bit of damage there. Okay, uh, I believe now. All right, uh, I believe the fire and the poison will take care of you. Let's do that. Acid rain on you, and then impale. Man, yeah, that that was that was a struggle. <laughs> I I needed to use a mass potion there, but well, we did it. Man, I I guess uh, we needed more cleansers and like more powerful monsters. 
I feel like I don't have enough focus on damage dealing. I feel like I'm all over the place. Anyway, we get a skill potion. And, uh, yeah, I'll save that. Okay, so let me just see how long I've been recording. Okay, uh, 25 and a half minutes. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of wondering what I should, like, spend the rest of my time on. Um, maybe this will just be a shorter episode. And this very well could have just, like, been a bonus episode, but I really didn't think that this was going to be it. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that, guys. Oh, uh, who's that over there? Stand tall, that's Keeper Dragoon Eric over there. As Keeper Dragoon, he is only one rank away from the highest rank of the Order, Keeper Master. Oh, really? They say he spends almost all of his time in the wilds, patrolling the Sanctuary. Most people in the Sanctuary have never even seen him, but we've all heard the stories. Huh. Alright. Hello there. Good job on bringing that evildoer, Keeper Lancer. Julia told me all about it. Sounds like you'll be making your family proud, Spectral Keeper. Oh, you're important because you have your own theme. <laughs> Julia also told me about that problem with the Goblin King. You did take care of him, right? Yes. Very good, Keeper Lancer. The Ancient Woods should be a safer place now. Let me introduce myself. I am Eric, Keeper Dragoon of our Order. I came to the stronghold when I heard rumors that alchemists had been spotted. Oh yes, I know that this masked person belongs to the ancient order of alchemists. Although I don't know much about them other than they once came to the sanctuary and caused some trouble. I'm afraid nobody in the sanctuary knows more about them. Well, that's why I came here, to in interrogate this alchemist. So far, I've only found out from him that the Alchemists are the reason why there have been so many champion monsters. The Alchemists have perfected a formula for an elixir that can turn a regular monster into a champion monster. Ah, okay. The Alchemist was in the ancient woods to gather ingredients for the elixir. Other than that, it appears that we're in the dark for now. Huh? You found a library deep within the Stronghold Dungeon. And Keeper Novice Will found a book with more information about the Alchemist. Tell me about it. Interesting. I need to commend you for doing such a good job. You are quite extraordinary, aren't you? But I expect no less of a Spectral Keeper. Now, let's try and find out what this Alchemist knows about that leader of the Alchemists, Marduk. Marduk? How do you know about him? Seems like Will found just the right information. Tell us, Alchemist, where is your leader Marduk? Is he hiding somewhere in the Sanctuary? Remember, if you give us the information we need, we might just decide to spare you and give you back your freedom. After we've dealt with the other Alchemists, of course. <laughs> Very well, I will tell you, since it won't be of much use to you either way. We are indeed serving Marduk, the one and only who has guided our order from the shadows for more than 300 years. He's hiding nowhere else than the abandoned tower. That's impossible! The abandoned tower has been sealed for hundreds of years! It's true! He sets us our orders through magic, and if he wishes so, he can leave the tower too. But it makes for quite a useful fortress for him! <laughs> That's strange. I'm not sure if we can believe him. But at this point, we have no other choice. In case you don't know, Dylas, the abandoned tower is closed and can only be opened by all four spectral keepers together. But if that wasn't enough, the entrance lies beyond the mystical workshop, which is filled with some of the most dangerous monsters. 
and the key of power is also required to open the door to the abandoned tower. Gee, that's a lot of security measures. The key of power was hidden by a keeper master more than 400 years ago. Nobody knows where it is. It could be just about anywhere in the sanctuary. The alchemists found a way to break through the magic barrier of the sanctuary. Their leader might be immortal. We can't put anything past them, so perhaps Marduk is indeed hiding within the abandoned tower. Hmm. Searching for the key of power so that we may gain entrance to the abandoned tower might be our best bet right now. Besides, on your search for the key, you might find more clues about the alchemists and their leader. However, I will stay here to continue watching over the alchemist. Who knows how many alchemists there are in the sanctuary. They could come at any moment to break him free. So I wish you Godspeed. May you find what you searched for in the sanctuary. Alright, seems like we got our goal. So, we're going to need to find the key of power. And, uh... We're going to have to find... In order to find Marduk, we would have to go into the abandoned tower. So, in order to go to the abandoned tower, we're going to need the key of power, as well as all four of us spectral keepers. But where could we possibly find that key of power? It could be just about anywhere in the sanctuary. Well, I guess we'll just have to find out soon enough. In the meantime, though, I would like to be on my way to the Sun Palace. And, uh, I don't think there's really going to be anything else interesting right now. There's no other treasure we could collect, so I think I'll just meet you there in the next episode. So, next time on Monster Sanctuary, we will go through to the Sun Palace and see what's going on over there. So, with all that said, thank you for watching. This is Stylus signing off. See you next time.